serving, working in his calling. And this last point, too, I didn't really know which one of you, some of you y'all both from. I'm explaining this one to you. Lastly, three steps up. He witnessed salvation coming out of the water, slash, or a prelude to capital. He witnessed salvation coming out the water, slash, or a prelude to capital. The reason why he sees salvation come out of the water because this is what step Jesus had to take to fulfill prophecy and to get to capital. This is the one that got me, y'all. <laughs> Baptism is the outward show of being buried with Christ and rising. Am I right? right? Baptism <laughs> is being buried in the water, immersion, coming up out of the side of being buried with Christ. Baptism is the outer show of being buried with Christ and rising again. But Christ ain't died yet. See? These people come to be baptized and show the hour I'm with Jesus on being buried. That's just very broad immersion coming up and being like Christ. But Christ ain't died. So, how they already baptize him? The Christ ain't died yet. Nothing wrong with that. Christ is participating in an ordinance that he hadn't even fulfilled yet. That's why I got a prelude to Calvary. He's already doing that. Huh? What he's going to be doing on the cross in a couple chapters. Because when he died and go to the grave and rise early the third day morning, that's when we have a chance. So he is participating in something that he ain't even fulfilled yet. Boy, that's deep to me. He is being baptized with our show of what he's going to do on Calvary, and Calvary still about 15 chapters later. That's why I love about God. You can't wrap your mind around it because he'll show you something in Scripture that'll blow your mind. He's being baptized and ain't dead yet. So that leads me to believe if he got baptized, there's no way we should not be baptized. Because he is participating in something that he ain't even did yet. And then he says something to me, so I got to do this. I have to be baptized to align myself with what thus said the Lord. That's why God was pleased. He got a chance to win the salvation, come out of water, and it was a prelude to Calvary. What you see me doing now in water, I'm going to do with blood. What you see me doing now in water, I'm going to do it with nails in my hand. I'm going to do it with ribbons in my feet. I'm going to do it with a piercing in my side. I'm going to do it when they give me vinegar and water to drink. I'm still going to do it to a simple baptism. Ooh, you know you're walking with your purpose when you do something before you do something. You know you're going to do a bad day when you can do something before you do something. He can participate in the orders that he's going to fulfill in Calvary. Because he already knows that his purpose is to get to the cross. At the cross, at the cross when I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away, it was there by faith I received my sight and not. Day because Christ died for us. In his baptism then and in his rising later, he did it just so God would be pleased. And every day we wake up, we should ask the Lord, how can I please you today? What, what, what can I do in my life between waking up and going to sleep that I can do to please you? We go to work and please somebody for eight hours. And when I told you when you're going to your purpose, sometimes your purpose ain't what you want to do. What you want to do at work, you want to go home. Some of us want to go home before we need the house. I ain't tell you what I heard. But you know it's something on the other side that makes you
to go on. We got rid of We got to the car. These kids back in school. And you keep on keeping on because there's something on the other side. Oh, I got to get my hair done. Oh, I need to get my nails done. You keep on pushing because you know something on the other side. Oh, Lord. Oh, we got some other bills coming through. Here come the black bill. Here come the water bill. But we keep on pushing. Please, somebody we don't like because it's something on the other side. Yeah. When you come to please Jesus, you ought to like him because he woke you up this morning. Yeah. He started you on your way. He gave you a little portion of help and strength. He told you in your right mind. He gave you the well with all to get the job and get the money to pay the bills. Yeah. But you don't want to please him. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. We Thank serve you. a God yeah. that gives us everything we and some of the stuff we want. So at least we should do, we should get up, throw our head back and say, thank you, Lord. How can I please you today? Go to the church at home. You may be his one. And you have been walking in the calling. God wants to burst some stuff in the world through you. Some of that stuff that you be fussing about, he want to fix it through you. 